sense of the individual, is it real or unreal? It's real and unreal until it's gone and then it's recognized it was never real. So it apparently feels it's real. real. If there's an individual, there's an experience of I am here and that feels real. And it is, like everything else, real and unreal, or empty, or nothing appearing as an individual, however you want to say it. And when it's gone, when it stops, when it stops happening, it's recognized that it never happened. It was always unreal. Something and wanting something. Did you ever miss that? This isn't isn't about not getting better at things. I just got a new iPhone and I can learn how to do it. That's sort of fun. Is that what you're talking about? It comes then from what kind of feeling does it come from? It's It's just what happened. What you're talking about. There's no one left to miss me. And there's no reason to miss me. There never was a me. There never was a me. Because I don't know what it is, I would just feel like I would miss it. And I think that I'm striving because it's like the me. The yeah, but you think you know what the me is. Yeah. And that's the me thinking it knows what it is. Yeah. It's completely clue. I'm, I couldn't tell you how clueless it is about what I'm saying what's being said here. Because it thinks it's something else. It thinks it, it tries to understand what's being said. It tries to find the meaning of what's being said. And it misses completely what's being said. How is it with the iPhone? Do you learn to use it faster or slower (laughs) than before? Uh, probably faster. Quite honestly, probably faster. There's just that not whole that whole complication. The me is exceptionally complicated with everything. Yeah. So when when the me dies, you'll go. That's exactly what he said. But I never thought that it could be that simple. I never thought it was that easy. I never thought it was just that because you couldn't possibly think of it because it's direct. It's immediate. It's just what it is. So when I say the me is going to die, the, the me lives in this really complicated, complex world. And all of it has meaning about wars and famine and good and bad and you know the whole movement of society and the psyche and the development, all that complication, how important all of it is. It's just the me and its psychic reality of all that importance. When that dies, nothing happened because it was never. There is only what it is. which is this. The individual is looking for this.
do you feel compassion for the sense of self you maybe see in others, or do you even? You know, I've, the, what all the, the only answer that comes to me with that is I've been asked that before. Mm -hmm. So, the me is doing this. It has it has a very active and traumatic life. It's up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down, and it's difficult to feel compassion for that because it's just it's it's you know I don't know I, could, I don't have any nice words for it. It's just yeah, it's just you know it's just that. It's it's very easy to see through it, but the whole picture of the fact that there's this experience that's happening that's looking for all there is, that is in a way tragic. And so you might call that compassion. But there's very little movement here when somebody tells me a story of how sad they are or something happening. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to touch this very much. That doesn't mean anything. And we might be talking about character as well, which is still left after the meat disappears. We still have character, preference. So this character just might be cold. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so rather than this, it's a flat line. It's more or less like a flat line. Well, this isn't happening. Okay. So there's no flat line. Or you still might cry at a funeral or a wedding. Or at weddings, I did today. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's that about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even ask. Nobody asks what it's about. Nobody cares. It's about nothing. It's about nothing. It's just what happens. I, I'm touched by weddings. What, what we're discussing has nothing to do with this or this character. And what's being shared isn't a personal message coming from here. It's been around for, for forever, this message. And it's about something, you can't really say beyond the appearance, but it just makes clear that the appearance is not real. This isn't real. There's no position in this for it to be real from. It's an appearance. It's real and unreal. It's just what it is. So in some ways it really has nothing to do with what it's like when the individual or the me dies. Because what we're discussing is something that's completely unspeakable. It can't be said. It's unknowing. This is unknowing. meditation well generally it's a I mean if you you know when people go to meditate they're trying to find something in the end there is only meditation <coughs> but nobody does it yes but the, the state of meditation so it's the, different than meditating what people say they're meditating and I'm asking well, like what is the I'm not state talking about a state, state. What is isn't a state. It's the end of all states, or it contains all states, but it's not subject to a state. Could you 
talk more about the free will and the or the illusion of free will or the illusion of choice because people make apparent choices at least. You can choose this or that. Of course you can't know what happens if you do this or what if you do that or what would have happened if you would have made another choice. But still you But that you just described the dream you could have made another choice. That's 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 the dream of free will and choice. Yeah, but the point that's something where else. you choose. Yeah, exactly. That point is where the dream that there's a choice. That you could have done something else. That there's another this. No. You choose to take no, South there's, no, there, there is no choice. But preference. What is the difference between preference and choice? I guess the taste buds prefer Riesling, so there's no choice. No, no addiction. I would never go for a bed pino, okay. but it's too sour. <laughs> okay. So I'd go for Riesling. Yeah, yeah no choice. <laughs> Just like Blaufrankisch, I would never go for a Bordeaux, it's too heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> there's no choice. I'm being silly a little bit, but there's just there's just what seems to happen. Seems to happen. See, the question implies that choices, preferences mean something. So that takes away seems from what's happening, because it, it implies that there's something meaningful or purposeful in what's happening. There, there isn't. It only seems to happen. There's nothing happening. The individual, the experience of the individual is this is about something. My life is about something. Which covers over the absolute freedom, the unboundedness of this being about nothing. So this appears to happen, but means nothing. It's free. So what happens if the bottle is empty? Are you going to pick up the water bottle and can try Depends on how drunk or? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how drunk I am. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just being silly. I guess because I feel like the question is a little silly. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't have any meaning. 
and the experience of free will and choice is that I have power over what seems to be happening in my life, and therefore I have meaning, I am real, I can make a difference in my life, and basically what I do with my life is try to find what I feel is missing. And that's a dream, there's nothing missing. And avoid the wrong choice. Well, there, there is no such thing as a right or wrong choice. Nothing matters. Nothing, nothing matters. There's no point to this. Yeah. Is it like because you can't really choose freedom because it, it, it just happens when you win? Well, it doesn't happen, but the, what we're talking about is the fact that this doesn't have any meaning or purpose. It doesn't, it's not, it's not going anywhere. The individual is the only thing that experiences that, that this is going somewhere. And for the individual, it needs to go somewhere because it feels like something's missing, so it needs to find it. When it dies, it's, what's left is what is that has no meaning or purpose and is not going anywhere. It's about nothing. This is about nothing. So there is no freedom either? No, not in that sense. That's true. So, so freedom is just a concept of creating an individual <clears throat> who wants to be free. But th it's the same with almost everything I'm saying. None of it's true. Yeah. Because there's only the absolute that's meaningless. There's only everything that's meaningless. There's only nothing being everything. It's all meaningless. It doesn't actually mean anything. The infinite can't mean anything because there's nowhere for which it to mean something from. There's no comparison. That's right. So there's fine. just everything. There's just everything, which is also meaningless. It just happens to be the way it is. And isn't. <laughs> we can't actually talk about what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so funny that <laughs> you still seem to be here, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> There and other way to try to <laughs> express that beside talking. Well, in the end, there, that is all that anything is ever saying. That's what the wall is saying, that's what the lights are saying, that's what everything, anything that appears or happens, that's what it's saying. This is everything, this is all there is, this is love, this is complete, this is whole. That's all, that's, that's all anything ever says. Doesn't, isn't that in the Bible somewhere? The stones and the rocks are going to sing my praises or something? That's what they're saying. So when you say that nothing matters, so it's kind of the same as you say that everything matters? No, it's no. not. Okay. Not unless you mean because I'm, I use an absolute, it's meaningless. No, what I'm really saying is that it's empty. It's emptiness appearing as everything. There's nothing behind it. There's nothing within it. It's just, it's just what it is. The individual lives in a world of knowing and meaning. The tension of the individual is literally the search for meaning. And that covers everything that appears and makes it appear to be real because the experience of itself is real. When in reality, it's empty. And there is no meaning. This, this world appears to be functioning with the cause of uh, uh, the cause and effect, with the laws of cause and effect. And Apparently. The, and, and karma. Appa what, what? Karma. Karma. I don't know what you mean by karma. If you mean happening, which is what I understand karma to mean, then yes, there's an apparent happening. Like but if you mean that somebody if I do gains... Some, some yeah, violent. exactly. That's bullshit. What is bullshit? That idea of karma. That's the uh, that's <laughs> that's the experience of the individual that it can that there's something good and there's something bad and that if I'm good I'll come back as a king and if I'm bad I'll come back as a worm. But if I but if if you don't 
judge it as good and bad if it's just like a violent act. So then you will experience violent act right. for yourself later on. It's not good or bad, but it's a kind of a similar right. So it's that also bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so then we can do whatever we want. Absolutely. If there was anyone to choose, it could do whatever it wanted to. There isn't. See, the individual is looking in th and probably experiencing thinks what, what's being said here has something to do with freedom for the individual. And what's being talked about here is freedom from the individual. It's not freedom for anyone. It's just freedom. <coughs> but within this illusion, it seems to be happening. What does? Karma? Yes. Well, how's it going for you then? <laughs> you must be doing really well with your free will and choice. You're happy all the time, are you? Most of the time. Right? Oh, you got a little bit of karma left. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to a teacher, He'll tell you how to work harder and get rid of that. I know. <laughs> oh, right. You're obviously not doing it well enough. You need to practice harder. <laughs> what about things like sixth distinction? Excuse me? What about things like they are talking about? Like, I think this thing, the, the, the sixth, I mean, the, 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 the like the species are dying. Uh, what is the extinction? What, what? Extinction. The extinction. Extinction. Like, it just came up to, like, it doesn't, does not have any meaning. Nothing does. Uh, the only, only the individual is afraid of dying. I still have a problem seeing how the how the fear of the individual causes a need for meaning. Well, not the fear of the individual that causes the need for meaning. It's the experience, simply the experience of being real. That something in this appearance is actual, which creates the need for meaning. Because it solidifies everything. And everything solidified is in some way denatured. It sucks the life out of it. Every, this is life. There is only life happening, apparently. When, the, when it becomes real, when there's an individual, this is no longer life happening. It's known. It's solid. It, in some way, it's dead. That's dissatisfying. That's, the individual is then in that trying to find meaning in it because it's looking for the life that it is that's died or disappeared, apparently, because it is. So the, the causal chain goes something like the cause of causal chain. Goes there, there's, no, there's no causal chain. It's all the same thing. Okay, but the the individual okay, the and the search for, the search for meaning is the same thing. It's the same thing. There's no causal chain. But, but That's why when it dies, it didn't happen because there's no causal chain. Okay. okay. There's no real one after the other. It's me, the, all the same thing. Let me just check if I get this right. So, is this one of the tricky ones? <laughs> uh, so, I'm real, therefore everything else is real, right. and therefore it means something. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it needs to mean something. It There's a search for meaning. That meaning is never really found. That satisfaction never really found. That unity or the end of need is never really found. And it's never found because the person is illusory. It's not real. Nothing is real. So the search for the individual to find something real is doomed to fail. Nothing's real. Nothing's solid. It can't find the security it wants. Because the basic assumption that it's real is illusory. It's not real. But 
by saying that it's real, you're trying to get what you mean by real. It's it's some kind of a solid solid entity. That it, it in some way you could feel it as that when you say I am, there's a sense of a of a platform, way a place to stand, a here, a reality in position. That's a loser. There's no reality in position. There's no real here. And it's from that real, apparently real here, that everything else is apparently known as real. And that's all the same thing. It's not like it starts here and then and then ventures out, and so if you were quick enough, you'd get behind it or something like that. It's not like that. It's all the same thing. And it's really like this, that there's something in here, and in some way that something in here is then suddenly in everything else. It's all the same thing. So everything is real, I am real. It's easy for me to understand if, if we're talking about you and me, for example. So, Because I think there's something here. I don't if they think there's something there. Absolutely. But it's not a thought, it's an experience. Yes. No. Yes. But, but it's more than that, you actually know there's someone here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you know there's someone there. And but, that's the illusion. But I can't see how it, it, it applies to everything. No, you can't. That's right. So I don't think there's someone in the past. No, that's not what I mean. Yeah. There's a, the, this, the sense of something in here is also the sense of something in this, which is, which is the experience that this is real. This is experience as real, solid. Like the distance is real. All of that's real for the individual. You can't get this. It's not an experience, it's not an understanding. But what's being shared is that when that experience that something is real dies or ends, it also ends in everything else. So the need for this to be as it is, the, the individual is petrified that this isn't what it is. Is petrified. It, it actually, its entire experience is dependent on everything being what it is or what it knows it to be. When that dies, and that doesn't allow it to be the freedom that it is, when that dies, everything is what it is, but has no need to be that, meaning it could be anything. Not as potential, but as lack of, of containment. And that has some like, perceptual ramifications, like it changes it, how it's it Only when it happens. After that, there's no one left to know about it. So when the individual falls away, there is a recognition that it was in everything, but then it's over. Just like all of this stuff. That's why saying what changes is really is really a misinformation because nothing actually is permanently different because there's no one left to know that anything changed. Nothing's real. Absolutely nothing. There's no position, there's nowhere to stand. There's only everything. But it's everything. <laughs> Isn't that something? No, it's not. <laughs> it's just everything, which is nothing. It's an absolute. It's meaningless. What would you ask from you if you were me? That's a good question. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to give the answer because questions and answers, I think, are energetic exchanges, and I think there's there's something in that. There's something in that. But there's no there's no real question. There's no question that'll help in that way. I think in some way questions do come from somewhere in some people that there's a real question and so there's an energetic exchange. 
but in the end, there's no answer to any question. All that's pointed here, too, is that the questioner is unreal. Change if there's nothing here. Well, the, the exchange I'm talking about is let's assume that there's there's the experience of someone there. And that experience of someone says to no one or nothing, I'm someone. And the re response is there's no one. That's all, that's every single question that's been coming up. That's all, that, that is everything, that's all that ever happens here. And someone goes, there's someone, and then there's this, that goes, there's no one. <laughs> that's all that we've said. Well, I'll take a pony. <laughs> <laughs> Giving this fan a meaning and I'm creating a distance because a fan doesn't know it's a fan. The, the the distance is apparent, and the meaning arises simultaneously with the experience of being an individual. Can you say that again? The distance is apparent; mm -hmm. it's not dependent upon the individual. The meaning that is in that for the individual. Let's say the meaning is that that's real. That's the individual. That meaning, that reality completely dis disappears when the individual disappears. But there's still apparent distance. And the fan then becomes what it is, which is an appearance. Nobody knows what that is. Nobody knows anything, really. Nothing is knowable, really. I was thinking about Socrates because he said that he said that he doesn't know anything, but he knows that he doesn't know anything. That's the difference. That's a world apart from what's being shared here. Yeah. So yeah. he thought that he is in that way more wise than others because he knows that he doesn't know. Well, uh, there's just no one here that knows they don't know. I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Who would know they don't know? Knowing is an experience. Knowing is a subject and an object. That's what knowing is. So, you so if there's no real subject, there cannot be any real object. So and that's the suggestion. There's no real subject. So you can't know that you don't know. Well, there's just no one. Yeah. yeah. Why is it so? There's no one. There's no answer to one. But why is it so? There's the absolute and then there is the illusion. What's the, what does this illusion serve? In? There, there's no one. There's no answer to one. Because there isn't an answer to one. There's no why to this. That's the problem of the individual. The individual thinks that there's a why. This is about something. And this isn't about anything. It's already free. It doesn't need to be found. That's freedom asking why. Cool, huh? But would we know that there is freedom if we didn't have the non-freedom? Nobody knows freedom. Even you don't know freedom. Nobody knows freedom.
Can I have one? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You don't have one for everyone. You're not allowed to share. <laughs> concept of self-inquiry of a past night is keeping you in the loop of the me. It keeps you in the in the loop in, in the me itself yeah. all the time. Yeah. And it gets stronger and the me gets stronger and stronger. Yeah. Well, I don't know about stronger and stronger, but it does in the end what it finds is supreme knowing. Supreme knowing. That's sort of the goal of self-inquiry. I am. I am, exactly. Yeah. Who am I? Oh, I, am. I Well, then it goes to I am. Yeah. Which I've heard is the only independent thing the I can do. I am. I am real. It, it's not. So people who are, uh, who are doing self-inquiry, they stay in that I through and through. Absolutely. <laughs> It's a circle. Everything the individual does is a circle. Because the basis, the premise with which it does it, is illusory. The premise is there's something missing. And therefore, there's something to find. That's not, that's just illusory. There's nothing missing. It comes from the experience that the individual has that there's something wrong with it. I'm not happy here. I want to be happy, so I do self inquiry to get happy. Here is never happy. Here is never happy. Or if it is, it's, it's short lived. It's up and down. Yeah. And this isn't the suggestion that when the individual dies, there's only happy, or only peace. It's just, there's just what's happening. And it loses those teeth. The individual has these like big teeth that are in everything, doing this, you know? Yes. Yeah. And that just ends. There's still what's happening, or what happens, apparently. But it doesn't have any teeth left in it. It doesn't matter anymore. Be unhappy. <clears throat> I is attention. So I could argue that it's relatively happy compared to. But that's the problem. Mm. Only relative. Relative. Relative is the problem. Is the is the problem for the individual. It's always relative. Real, the experience of the individual is it's real. Real is relative. Real and unreal has no position, no relationship. So there's no longer a dependence on happy or unhappy. There's just what's happening.
said yesterday <coughs> that absolute and relative are the same thing. So yeah. would you care to say something more about that? Well, there's apparent distance. That is apparent relativity. And that's the absolute that's appearing as that. And just to be clear, it's not the absolute coming from somewhere else special. Manifesting this, this is the absolute. Or another way you could say it, this is everything. The individual has the experience that there's what's happening and there's something else. There isn't anything else. There's only what is. There's only what's happening. There's only the absolute. Relative. Yeah. Okay. I buy that. No. <laughs> 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 How much? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a lot. <laughs> it's it's all relative. It's <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, were you a seeker before the me dropped away? And did that, and that seeking has nothing to do with the state that you were in? The, the individual can never, would never, and could never do anything to rid itself of itself. Are you sure? There's no, there's no movement necessary. It's the individual is seeking wholeness or completeness or freedom. There is only wholeness, completeness, and freedom. It's the seeking that makes it appear as though this isn't that. So how could seeking get rid of or uncover the reality that is already? Even seeking is wholeness, completeness, and freedom. Seeking. <laughs> there is only that. So how could you bring it about? can do to take the there is thing. no individual there's the experience of being an individual that's completely illusory the experience is that there's some real duality there's some real here and real there and that matters it doesn't
obviously doesn't care. <laughs> it would only matter if the appearance had an, an intention. In intention? Yeah. Like it was going somewhere. If for some, in some way it wasn't already complete. There is no intention. It, it's already complete. <clears throat> Which is a little misleading to s way to say there's nothing missing. It's not really complete in that sense because nobody knows that. But there's nothing missing. There's nothing needed. So there's no need for intention. Somehow it was sad. Somehow? It sounds maybe somehow a little sad. Sad. Well, for the individual, it's terrible. Yeah. Because being good and trying to save the whales is no longer important. <laughs> so somebody asked over here, what do I do with my life now? That comes up a lot. What do I do now? Continue. Excuse me? Well, you can ask, but what I'm just it's also be thinking what I'm gonna do now. Just continue. You've never done anything. I've never done anything, but there's I continue no, not there's, doing anything. There's no <laughs> you. Continue not doing. No, whatever. <laughs> 